We are at Circuit de Monaco for the first ever Monaco Grand Prix here in round eight of season two of the SCR Red Bull Formula One series. The number 55 of Tanner Hill will be leading us to the green flag. Start beside him is the seven car of Sebastian Torres. Rest of the starting lineup for today's race. This is the first ever Monaco Grand Prix in season one. This track had not been yet made for NR 2003, so we had to skip that race. But it is here in Season 2, and just like with real Formula 1, once it stays on the circuit, it'll stay on the calendar. So, if you don't like Monaco, from now on, get used to it, because it'll be a part of every season going forward. Raleigh Spurley 2, who is starting 3rd, has a 4-point lead over Ty Dent, who is starting in the 20th spot. Yeah, if you think Monaco is bad in real life... It is worse in the sim world, at least on NR 2003. I know John Norton did an amazing job making this 2.7 mile street course track, but it is not good. It's just, the track is just so tight that you can barely pass. And you can't edit the laps on this track, so it's just eight laps. John just set the track like that, so you can't edit laps. I don't know why. Without any further ado, the most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, stop your engines! The field is rolling off. Circuit de Monaco. This track was always tricky playing on the Formula One games. And I actually had fun playing them, but it does not go well here on NR 2003. So Tanner Hill, who scored his first career SCRL sanctioned win in the last race at Shanghai, will be looking to win back-to-back -back races. Sebastian Torres, start beside him, a former winner in this series, won at Bahrain, or excuse me, Bahrain in season one, looking to win back-to-back -back seasons. Jolly Riley Spurley tube has done so far this season. It's probably tube one in season one. He's one in season two. Look at, look at those tight turns. There's barely any room for error. But this is the most prestigious event in all of season two. Who will forever write their names in the history books as the first ever winner here at Circuit de Monaco? We shall see in eight laps. Pull the belts tight. Tanner Hill leads us to the green. Off towards turn number one. Tanner Hill trying to get an advantage over Sebastian Torres. Sebastian Torres on the outside of his Ferrari. Can he squeeze by? Yes, he does. So Ferrari has beaten Toro Rosso, or Red Bull, whichever team that is. That, that is huge for Sebastian Torres. To take the lead away from Tanner Hill. Third, Carter Frazier. Fourth, Roger McLaughlin. Fifth is Riley Spurley, two of our points leader. Back for position, here comes the 21, Tony Newman. Our Bahrain race winner trying to pass Riley Spurley tube. As we head through the hairpin, or the kink as they call it. Spurley 2 will maintain his position, at least for now. Here comes the number six car, the Mercedes, driven by Colin Dryberg. He's trying to make a race out of this. Does he get a weird camera angle? You go under the bridge, Sebastian Torres continues to hold his race lead over Tanner Hill. As he head towards this little S's, I guess you could say. 
Sebastian Torres able to make it through. So is Tanner Hill. Carter Friesen still battling for position between Raleigh Spurley Tube and Tony Newman. Spurley Tube is able to take the spot away. And there's our season one champion, Nick Kennedy, trying to have a good run here at Monaco. There's Sebastian Torres' his teammate, his brother, Richard Torres. Oh, we got a car that's crashed. Oh, Richard Torres just crashed. Oh, another car. A multi-car crash. And, of course, the caution is out. Well, the virtual safety car. And there is the caution. Even at 70%, they crash here at Monaco. That's, yeah, that's messed up. So Sebastian Torres is our race leader. We're taking a look at the first caution of the day. So here's the cause of caution. Colin Driver driving for a Mercedes. Let's see, looks like he will hops. He slides, and then the back wheels lock up, and he just nails the tire barrier. That's the cause of caution, but we go further back here because Richard Torres, he slides off track, and he nails the tire barrier, completely destroying his Ferrari. And here comes Colin, uh, Trevor Collins. He gets involved. The other Mercedes is barely able to squeak by Steve Larker. Trey Wright slams on the brakes, but he gets some damage. And I believe we had another spinner. I think it was the 94, Jack Halleck. Oh. And David Solomon. Looks like they both lost control and spin out. That turn is always tricky. They just spin out of that turn no matter what the AI strength is. So Richard Torres running good with his brother, Sebastian Torres. Just head toward the S's. And he's just going to wheel hop it. After he saw Colin Jabrick spin, he does the same thing and completely destroys his Ferrari. It started off as a good day for the Torres family. Not anymore with Richard Torres out of the race. Take you back to the restart. And we are back here at Monaco. Three, two laps has been completed. About to complete lap number three. Sebastian Torres is our race leader. His brother, Richard Torres, is out of the race. So Ferrari currently is first and last. Second is Tanner Hill. Third, Carter Friesen. Fourth, Roger McLaughlin. Fifth, Riley Spurley Tube. Sixth, Tony Newman. Seventh, Cassie Dent. Eighth, Nick Kennedy. Ninth, Patrick Smith. And tenth is Colin Driver. As we go through the treble, treble turn, where Richard Torres wrecked. Richard Torres is a OK. Sebastian hoping that the same thing doesn't happen to him. So, Ferrari has already lost one car here in this race. They've got one car left. Sebastian Torres looking to fend off Tanner Hill, trying to win back-to-back -back Ferrari, back-to-back -back Formula One races, excuse me. Sebastian Torres trying to get Ferrari its first win of season two. Sebastian looking for the best start of his career. Here we go. And we're back to racing here at Monaco. Driver's already swerving, trying to get a run. Off towards turn number one. This is where Sebastian Torres took the lead on the start. Looks like he'll be able to keep it. Tanner Hill follows him up the hill, though. Sebastian trying to block. Here comes Tanner Hill. Sebastian does not want to give up that lead because he knows the passing here is very tough. As we go around the fountain, Sebastian is able to keep the race lead. Carter Friesen trying to join the party. Currently has a podium. See Riley's Furley Tube still battling with Tony Newman. Here comes Cassie Dent, a winner in the NASCAR Legends Series at Talladega. She has improved her career a little bit. Going from the Super Speedway in America all the way over here to Monaco. Trying to get a win on the Twiston Road Course. But they are trailing Sebastian Torres, who's got a big jump since the start. Has pulled away from Tanner Hill as he slowly makes his way through the S's. He gets just a good jump off that turn right there. 
Here comes the triple turn, which took out his brother. Up you heard Tanner Hill scraping the wall. He's all right. Here we go. Sebastian's able to make through. Tanner Hill's able to make it through. Cassie Dent trying to pass Molly's Frilly Tube. Oh, uh, nope. Oh, no. Jack Halleck not able to make it. And the caution is out yet again. And I think we will have time for one more restart. Sebastian Torres will take the caution. Well, we are live when we saw the crash. We'll take a look at it again. Here's the cause of the caution. Jack Halleck, just like with Colin Jobberg, he lost control at the back end of his car. He spins out, nails. Wow. The tire barrier, and there was, that was a glitch for sure. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. But man, that was a hard impact by Jack Hollick, actually. And as you see, Marcus Marcus Sasachi spin out just a little bit. And that's the cause of the caution. We'll see if they ended the race or not. And we are back. Two laps to go here at Monaco. The 94, Jack Halleck is out of the race. That means we have 20 cars left. No one is a lap down. Sebastian Torres is our race leader. Second is Tanner Hill. Third, Carter Friesen. Fourth, Roger McLaughlin. Fifth, Riley Spurley. Two, sixth, Cassie Dent. Seventh, Tony Newman. Eighth, Nick Kennedy. Ninth, Zachary Fitzwater. And tenth is Patrick Smith. So we just have to go one lap to get a green flag finish. If at any point we have a caution, this race will be over. Sebastian Torres, once again, looking to get another great restart. Tanner Hill looking to try and jump past Sebastian Torres, one of the greatest of all time here in the SCRL against a rookie. Can Tanner Hill make the move on Sebastian and go back to back? Or will Sebastian Torres get his first win of the season? Or can Carter Friesen score a win? Anything can happen here at Monaco off the final turn. Pull them belts tight. This should be a wild one. Sebastian leading them slowly down to the start finish line. And there's Green. We're back to racing. Here at Monaco, Sebastian. Oh, look at the uh, number 14, Roger McLaughlin. He's going to try and pass on the outside. Looks like he'll make that move stick. So Roger McLaughlin moves into third. He's got a podium trying to pass Tanner Hill now. This will be for second. Moving him up the hill. Sebastian Torres leads him through this turn past the fountain. Got some cars battle for position back here. Nothing going on, really. No caution. Sebastian Torres still trying to keep Tanner Hill behind him. Hill dives it on into the turn, but he's not close enough. Sebastian will get a run off the turn. But Tanner's right there, ready for the seven to make a mistake. Sebastian just gets so much speed off the turn right there. Heading toward the hairpin. Tanner goes a little bit wide, trying to get a run. Here we go. Sebastian slams on the brakes. Eases his way through. Tanner Hill gains a lot of momentum, but Sebastian once again gets a run off the turn. Here we go. Sebastian eases it through this turn. So does Tanner Hill. Here's the trouble turn. And whoa, Sebastian barely saved it. Wow. Oh. We just we gotta we gotta beat the uh, caution if there is one. Still none yet. Still none. Still green. Off the final turn. Looks like we will actually have a green flag finish here at Monaco. White flag one lap to go for Sebastian Torres. He has a nine hundredths of a second lead. Can he make it back around? Tanner Hill trying to close in. Roger McLaughlin with a career best right now. Got around Carter Friesen. There you see our points leader, Rice Billy Chief, has fallen back to seven. Back up front, Sebastian Torres.
It has been exactly over one year since Sebastian Torres has won a Formula One race at Bahrain. It was his lone victory of season one, trying to win the most prestigious event in all of Formula One racing. Tanner Hill trying to close in, the rookie trying to go back to back. Sebastian trying to get Ferrari its first win of the season. Making his way under the tunnel. He's got a pretty good lead over Tanner Hill. He doesn't have to push the issue too much. He nearly crashed the last time around. Tanner Hill's closing in the gap. It's Sebastian Torres' race to lose, though. Here's the turn that took out his brother. And, oh, he hit the wall. Here comes Tanner Hill. Tanner Hill passed him. Oh, my goodness. Sebastian trying to fight back. Sebastian Torres, the veteran, made a rookie mistake. Smacked the wall. Going too aggressive. Tanner Hill is going to take advantage. And the rookie is going to do it. Off the final turn, Tanner Hill is going to go back to back and win the most prestigious race. He wins here at Monaco. And we have a crash, but it doesn't matter. And Sebastian Torres once again is second here in the Formula One series. Man, you gotta hate it for him. Sebastian led every single lap. Tanner Hill started on pole, didn't lead a single lap until the final three turns. Man. Here he raises results. The rookie, Tanner Hill, wins back-to-back -back races. He wins at Shanghai, and he wins the most prestigious event in Formula One racing. He wins at Monaco. Sebastian Torres was the race leader, led every single lap until the last lap, smacking the wall just enough for Tanner Hill to pass him. Third, Roger McLaughlin, the best finish of his career. Fourth, Carter Friesian. Fifth, Cassie Dent. Sixth, Tony Newman. Seventh, Zachary Fitzwater. Eighth, excuse me, seventh, Nick Kennedy. Eighth, Zachary Fitzwater. Ninth, Riley Spurley Tube. And tenth was Patrick Smith. And the driver that crashed on the last lap was Ty Dent, finishing 20th. What a finish here at Monaco. We'll take you to victory lane for the second time in his career and second in a row with the rookie, Tanner Hill. Here are your point standings after the eighth race of the season at Monaco. Riley Spurley Tube is still our points leader. He has a four point lead over Sebastian Torres and Ty Dent. Fourth is Colin Dryberg, seven points behind. And fifth is Monaco race winner Tanner Hill, also seven points behind. Sixth is Zachary Fitzwater. Seventh is Trey Wright. Eighth, Carter Friesian. Ninth, Joseph Huffman. And tenth is Marcus Sasachi. Eleventh is Tony Newman. Twelfth, Steve Larker. Thirteen, Jack Halleck. 14, Nick Kennedy, 15, Bryanson Hill, 16, Roger McLaughlin, 17, Richard Torres, 18, Trevor Collins, 19, Cassie Dent, and 20th is Gordon Smith. David Solomon and Patrick Smith are the only two drivers who have yet to score points here in Season 2. Well, that is your point standings of the 8th race of the season at Monaco. We will next see you at Round 9 at Circuit Silverstone for the British Grand Prix. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.